my subscribers um, had asked about a video. He likes a shuffle, and he had asked about uh, doing something a little simpler, you know, with the shuffle, constant bass. So, what I'm going to do is um, play it the way that I know it and understand it, and just something basic if you're a beginner at this type of stuff. Um, so, there's the swing, swing eight. It's a little different on a national as opposed to an acoustic because you don't, you know, I don't have an actual bridge, you know, to rest my hand. So I rest the palm of my hand very lightly. But for purposes of this, like guys like Lightning Hopkins, they never did that. His constant bass, and he didn't play a constant bass all the way through everything. I mean, it weaved in and out. He, it dropped out, it came in, dropped out, came in. Um, so this is a swing eight. the one that Man's Lipscomb used. He, his stuff is all uh, a straight eight. Lightning and Hopkins, uh, swing eight. Sometimes I'm pinching, and sometimes I'm playing off the beat. Sometimes I'm pinching, sometimes I'm playing off the beat. same bass. And for your five chord you're playing your fifth string bass. Now guys like Lightning didn't play an open D of course, but uh, his older stuff he did play in drop D in some tunes, but then he played in the key of A. But anyway, um, he played in standard tuning, while well, usually his guitar had slipped. A half a step, or just just a little sharp of a half a step, or around there. But I'm going to be using some lightning licks in open D. I've done a video on this before, but not exactly like this. And so, but something's bare repeating. used 
two fingers sometimes. And if you're a flat picker, you would probably use, you know, your flat pick and then one finger. But this is where the shuffle comes from. It's this beat. <clears throat> but, so start out doing just this. trouble with this and you're practicing it because it's a boring exercise <clears throat> you could uh, you know just mute it and then watch your favorite TV program or whatever now with the straight eighth usually you know when they're doing an alternating bass that's a straight eighth Concentrating on the swing eight and the shuffle. you have to stop and think as soon as you have to stop and think that's when you make the most mistakes right so you want to get everything so ingrained that you don't have to think about it so you want to play it over and over and over and over and over and over so I was using um, so when I went because if you were playing a shuffle I 
was just using these now too. And when I was doing uh, these notes here, I'm just doing the first at the third, second at the third, and the, f the third at the first fret. this here, just these two notes at the fourth, on your first string at the second, uh, second string at the fourth, that also is your five chord. And you can use it with this bass. You can use that finger too. And when I went back to my five chord, was doing it here, which is just, we know our D7 is here. Here I'm just using uh, the first on the uh, third and the second string on the second fret. And that is based off of this chord shape here, which is a seventh. So you've got it here. You've got your five chord here as a seventh. You've got your four chord here as a seventh. And then of course your seventh here over here. Okay. So we've been through all this before in my videos. But anyway, I was using Just do it with one finger. I'm using two fingers because it's just habit.
that's the basic foundation for a lot of lighting hawk and stuff uh, in standard tuning and uh, playing shuffle stuff, the stuff that I do in open D. So this is honestly the hardest part to get if you're new is that damping. Anyway, what I was doing here was this is also, this is your five chord. And this I've showed before is your four chord. Back to your one. So you can use these chords, your five uh, chord.
making a turnaround, I'm just going around and around. So you can just go around and around and around, but it's all based off of this. Just practice it with a slide on one on just your first string.